You remember when we walked into the property? Oh my God. <laughs> Daniel, are you in there? He's locked himself in. Next thing, we gotta call the cops. Where's the police? Come look at us. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, the camera can't get the smells. Oh, mother of Christ. Do you guys remember this house? Where we were doing basement ADU and also building the cute little house. Not that little. So today, we're gonna give you guys a tour of this one and also the basement because now we are finally completely done and already rented out. So the tenants are moving soon. So I thought I'll give you guys a tour. But also the most important thing many people have asked me is the numbers. So stay tuned till the end. I'm pretty sure you'll walk away with the confidence that you can do this ADU and the ADU construction. So see you. And of course, to share the details, I have my good friend Xavier here, who is also the partner and the GC on the project. <laughs> How's it going, man? It's a long time. What's been going on? <laughs> yeah, long time no see. <laughs> yeah, this project was, uh, it's been some time, but for good reasons, right? As yeah. you know, so maybe we should run through the project to tell the people what we did here, because it changed a lot during, yep. before yep. and during as well, right? <laughs> exactly. You remember when we walked into the property? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. We couldn't even walk in this backyard. Yeah. You remember? Literally like this, this area was filled with like stuff not only this area like the whole house the basement everything so i remember we took out what is it 13 bins 13, 13 bins. 20 yard <laughs> bins full of junk yeah full of junk so and, and and took like what for us to finish this project 13 months almost yeah almost a year yeah a little bit a little bit more than a, little a year more than fact. a year yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there are, there are so many things. So we'll talk about that. Let's walk through the basement. Show us what you have done to this basement. Sure, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Let's take a look. So one, one kind of comment um, we're always getting from people when we're showing the basement is that they love that because it's a corner lot, the driveway is between the units. Yep. So every unit has a separate entrance, right? Which makes a big, big difference. Like the upper unit, they actually go from the front. So they never yeah. even see this back unit. And people who drive uh, park in the driveway, for so this unit goes in here, that unit has its own kind of driveway there. So they really appreciate that. So always look out for corner lots. I think that's very, very important. Point to be noted. So here, as soon as we enter, that's the entrance for the unit. That's the entrance to the unit. This is another beautiful bonus feature. Everybody loves this, that they can put their coat uh, coats in winter, right? It's a little yeah. bit of an extra space that they have here. So very so much appreciated. Before we into the unit, what's this? So this is the common mechanical room, right? So if you come in here, this is where we keep all our mechanic mechanics. As you can see, the two water tanks for up and down, the two uh, hydrometers for up and down. And this part I love the best down here, you have three water meters, one, two, three, units A, B, and C, you can mark, we mark it there you can see it so completely split utilities completely split right so question big question i got in recent times like mm -hmm. is it worth splitting the meters absolutely absolutely the cost like you know the cost goes up right see that, that's always the question but i'm you know the situation of the house right yeah. when we got it. because we had to gut the basement anyways mm -hmm. we have the opportunity to split up and down yeah why wouldn't we do it Right. So, you know, if you didn't catch the dad part, detached additional unit Dwelling and the unit, basement yeah. is attached additional dwelling unit. So this is the second unit and that's the third unit. Okay. Sounds good. So continue the walk. Yeah. Uh, just one, one more point on that. And mm -hmm. why do we do that splitting? I can tell you now I've been showing these units, obviously mm -hmm. for, you know, everybody who wants to rent it. Yeah. And that's one of the biggest positive comments that we are getting. The fact that all the utilities are split, right? So they don't have to worry about how much the upstairs is having a shower or turning on the electricity or whatever. They're happy that they will pay for only what they consume. So it's a big, big... Uh... What's your favorite part in this kitchen? I, I won't say this the kitchen. My favorite part about this particular basement unit is this right here. I can, I'm almost six feet tall. So it's like eight feet. We are talking about eight feet finished ceiling here. Yep. Right? And with the damn big windows. So Seth, tell me, was it easy to do the underpinning? I mean, how much cost to do this? Yeah, I know that's the burning question. Yeah, yeah it was it was definitely not easy. Yeah, we have about a thousand square foot uh, basement area here. Mm -hmm. So usually it's basically 
uh, per cubic feet. Mm -hmm. You know, we cost it cost us about seventy five grand to do that. Yeah, and so and we went three feet down. Yes, thousand square feet of total area. So you do your math. Yeah. So, but I must say, I must say that's us doing it ourselves. That's our cost. Yeah, that's <laughs> not your the right fee. Yeah, exactly. If, if you you're go, hiring a GC, that's a different story. Of course, they will mark it up. They will put their margin, obviously. Of right? course, of course. Yeah. So that's the ADU part, like just the height part. But mm -hmm. how much was the cost for us to finish this unit? Yeah. and finished up our unit yeah. because we have done what literally down to studs the whole even the studs we changed, <laughs> the studs we changed. <laughs> even the yeah. studs, the, literally the only thing that's existing from this house that when we bought it yeah. is the red brick on the outside even that brick we have to fix it yeah even that brick because the, there was a structure issue here right right so right. what was the cost so all in all up and down mm -hmm. we spent excluding the underpinning was about 200 grand yeah so like literally for this house to make two units we got uh, 270,000 total correct correct Perfect. okay so here some of my favorite parts Sam. like you know i love the light fixtures and the color combination and look at this damn uh, <laughs> the barn door, what do you call barn door rental what's behind that barn what's door behind is more important on suite laundry yeah. that's like damn good feature even my own house i don't have this quality kitchen. renters love it renters love it when yeah. they have their own uh, laundry in their unit they love it honestly i don't think the renters will feel this as a renter home so which comes to how much is the rent we rented this one for this unit over here yeah so this one is going for uh 1700 plus utilities because everything is split of course 1700 plus utilities for a two bedroom so so sam definitely i would say kudos for you and your team thank you thank you and look here we, we still have some some final touch-ups to do but of course that's the blues for damn good looking vanity too even new builders like you know i bought a, um, a detached home in alberta not even this quality <laughs> yeah <laughs> this vanity right here it looks expensive but it's 550 bucks so if you go for right? cheaper one probably 300 dollars 300 dollars you're saving 200 bucks yeah sure but you know look at but the difference but is it gonna help for the appraisal exactly you know yeah. appraisal and then the tenant profile as well i think that's important yes. right we keep forgetting about that we want good quality family people who are going to stay who's going to pay the rent on time we're asking high rents 1700 for a low unit yeah it's pretty high rent right so we want to give them all those little things yeah, and also the biggest thing is this is where you your personal decision on what's your goal with this project right because you know our goal was not to flip this property it's to keep well it. <laughs> well now, now now yes now it's a lifer now it's a lifer so <laughs> when we started we had different goals yep thanks yep. to our partners who gave us the private funding you know thanks to you guys I don't want to mention the names, but uh, really helped us. Really, don't, you know, don't thank them too much. They got paid, man. Yeah. <laughs> they got they getting their own money. No, I mean, again, you know, <laughs> always the gratitude, Sam. Of course, of course. I'm thankful course. for you too for making this beautiful place. And look at the bedroom. This is another favorite part where you know they have two. I was arguing with Sam like. Sam, this is not needed. <laughs> but like, damn. <laughs> but it makes a difference, right? Like for renters to see, like, feel it as a, not even as a basement. So now let's go to the DADU. DADU, the Sam's uh, favorite part. Yeah, the DADU. <laughs> the DADU, for sure. Okay. So now time to see the D DADU. <laughs> The okay, so, yeah. so before we get into see that beautiful part, anything specific outside that you think audience need to know? It was one of the fastest rental rent, rental properties that I've ever done. We have a lot of interest in that. But going back to what you're saying, no, it's it's basically ICF block foundation, which is a different type of foundation. Again, go watch the videos. We're not going to I go see, through yeah. that. Yeah, we're not going to go through that process right now. So there is no basement. Only it's a four feet. foot crawl space. Yep. And as you know, when we started, we were to put a furnace down there. Yeah. Um, but because of cost issues, we said we decided against. To and you know we, we went out with heat pumps in the end yep. which saved us a few thousand i would say for sure this part of course don't mind the garbage <laughs> okay but yeah completely new build so and you'll see I'm inside excited to see inside oh and going back to the little things right we always put like stuff like this a video Camera, yeah. you know doorbell and these external nice lights light and pictures, stuff yeah okay so here as soon as we enter Damn, on sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's not that tiny, Sam. Not at all. Not that tiny at all. Like not at all. Anything but, eh? Yeah. So this is the heat pump that Sam was talking about. So it does both heating and cooling with electrical, but efficient, almost like gas. So Sam, what can you tell about this one? 
looks exactly the same quality for me. Yes, cookie cutter, right? Yeah. Because if you're doing this more and more, listen, we bought all these pools from Amazon. We bought like a hundred pack. I'm not going to go buy, you know, 25 over there and 27 over there and so on and so forth. We get the, we get the volume discounts. So yeah. we stay the same on everything. That's very, and very same important. Same appliances. Same appliances. There you go. Right. Yeah. So we get the volume discounts. That's super, super important. No, but it's a, it's a big two bedroom. You look at this. I mean, it's a, <clears throat> this, I think it's a 10 by 11, yeah. something like that. And um, each bedroom has a head. That's just that's very head. important because, you know, they, they want to control each. Absolutely. And you know? same style with having the closet. There you go. Shelves. So you can see here, that's the utility panel or the, the uh, hydro panel for yeah. this particular unit. All brand new, obviously. 100 amps, obviously. Yep. And also for basement, also the 100 amps? Yes, yes. So there's 100, 100, 100, basically, for this whole uh, this whole property here. So not chipping out in that area. No difference. Same subway style, same standard. Uh, you know, not a low quality tub, though. No, not at all. Because uh, generally, I see this kind of quality in the brand new constructions that are selling for eight, 900 at detached homes. Yeah. So damn good. Uh, can I move into here and I pay the rent? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Even the LED lights. No discounts for you though. <laughs> you see the light change colors? You got multiple colors. And look at the space between this and the next door neighbor, right? Still. Have still. Yeah. Probably like seven feet, eight feet. Yeah. You can do some gardening, right? Yeah. You can grow can some do. vegetables. Yeah. So, so Sam. Now everyone is waiting for the numbers. The cash flow numbers, the cash yeah. flow, cash flow. And also the construction cost. That's right. Just the that's right. DAU. Yeah. We are at uh, 250,000. That's including HST, by the way. Yeah. Right. All in, all in 250K. For 700 square feet. For 700 square feet. Yeah. And by the way, that also includes the holding cost because, you know, we borrowed money through private absolutely out, right? So almost 12%, not almost, it's 12%. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. That comes to the next question many people have now is how much is the current, you know, uh, the mortgage, what's the income? Right. What's the cash flow? Right. Bro, tell us. Okay. So the big numbers, uh, uh, we just got uh, appraised at 1.1. He said one. it, not me. <laughs> 1.1 1. 1 million, you know, from a single family, we can convert it into three units. Yeah, that's a good value, right? 1.1 million. So you know, obviously, we will go put 20% down, or we're taking that off yeah. the bill there. So we're not going to get the full mortgage. I think it's about 880 is our mortgage. Yep. And at today's rate, which we qualified at 5%, the mortgage payment only is about 4,600 bucks. 4,600 dollars of mortgage payment. Right. And the property tax. It's about 300, 300, 350, probably if it yeah. goes up. Uh, insurance about like $200. Another couple of hundred. So another $100 for maintenance. Yeah, so we're, we're talking about basically our outgoing every month is about 5,200 bucks. 5,200. And how much is the income we are getting right now? So right now we are renting or rented the upper unit. That one, upper. Upper, yeah, 2,000. Uh, plus, utilities. plus utilities. This one is rented rented as well. The tenants are moving in next week for seventeen fifty yep. plus utilities, and then, and that one is listed for seventeen hundred plus utilities. So you do the math, that's about uh, fifty four fifty. Fifty four fifty. So yeah. we are still positive two hundred and three hundred dollars. Yeah, two fifty. About two fifty dollars. Yeah. If I did the math, like we purchased the property for three hundred and seventy five thousand. Right. And we spent uh, on the just a d d detached home, the actual house. Plus the basement, 200 275. plus the 75 for the basement. Yeah. So 275 plus 375. And this one is 250. 250. Yeah. So total 900,000. Um, and we got out 880,000. So we still left some money. Very yeah. little. And the down payment. And the, and the down payment. Yeah. Well, like, well, well, it's not, right. The equity. The equity, <laughs> equity. Yes. Equity doesn't count, Sam, because it's not our money anymore unless we <laughs> not sell yet. the property. Yeah, not yet. So <laughs> even if we sell the property, we have to take our cost out. So. But again, you know, the point is, I'm, I'm glad I'm still holding this property because it's in a good location. Absolutely. Now, Absolutely. no headaches. That's it. And we know what goes up must come down. Yeah. So, you know, hopefully in the next year, by 2023 end, the interest rate starts dropping again. And we always chose a variable because we know that's going to happen, right? We know that's going to happen, uh, especially in this environment that is going to come down. So it's perfect. And as it comes down, our cash flow goes up, right? Yeah. So. If it goes up, our cash flow goes down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyone's call. What do you think? Are we gonna be in a negative cash flow soon? Let us know in the comments below. Or you think we are in the positive soon? 
whatever your predictions are let me in the comments below if you enjoyed tour make sure you like that button and also if you need any help with this kind of projects you know sav is doing an amazing job so if work. you need someone to jump on you know talk to sav of course go follow him you make some nice stories uh, reels there <laughs> details of every project so for your knowledge but with that man you guys stick till here that means you're a serious investor kudos to you have a wonderful day and have a happy halloween just do it just do it <laughs> go see you later